condition is a physical health and the other one is mental health. There is always a link between mental health and physical health. Physical health is when, when the, all the organs of the human are working biologically correctly, so they are not ill. Mental health is, is, is very much concentrated of, of a human's uh, lifestyle, of a human's thinking. Of, of, of humans' emotions. And the, the, the very simple explanation for mental health is, is the uh, state of well-being, of the well-being of the human being who uh, enjoy life, who can think, who can make decisions, who can socialize with, with the people. So as you can see, this, this is kind of different to the physical health. When we're talking about the mental health problems, one of the commonest mental health problems are stress. Stress is people are not happy at the, at the place they work. They have probably a problem in the family, domestic problem, financial problems, environmental problems. Yes. Obviously, this keeps the mind always being under the stress. So these people cannot be freely thinking and relax. So they cannot enjoy the life. And as you mentioned about, about women, yes. the women are getting when they become in the, and after the teenager age and then when they, they get, uh, get married and they, they get pregnant, they, they actually increase the stress of the women during the pregnancy. Okay, uh, doctor, you said uh, stress and depression yeah. lead to mental health. Uh, some of the causes health. that causes mental health. Correct. Yes. Um, how can stress lead to mental health? Yeah, the stress is affect the mind of the people, of the way of thinking. People are not, not feeling happy. And the, some of these health problems, they are temporary. When someone has the stress, like a woman has the stress during the pregnancy, when she delivers a healthy baby and she is happy. So that stress she has during the pregnancy, and it, it will be replaced by happiness after she, she delivered. Depression is a bit uh, depression is a bit more severe uh, health problems, mental health problems. So those people having other causes for being sad, not happy, and then they, they are not, you know, they, they, they sit in the corner, they don't like to socialize with the people, and that is something. So it's always, it's kind of a bio biological system. The biological system, if it does work properly, then, then people can also having a more free mind and then and, and moving, you know, the, the emotions and feelings, they are always go on the right way, actually, to do that. Okay, uh, how can one reduce mental health cases in a society? The mental health problem can, can have a lot of different causes. I only mentioned two as a depression and a stress, stress yes. but, but there are some, there are other more medically uh, term in the medical health, uh, uh, problems. Yeah, obviously, as I said, when we, we want to have a healthy child, we have to make the environment for the child healthy. Yes. We have, we have to, uh, you know, give him a good education, give him love to, to, the, to the children. And when, when we're talking about women in particular, women are a lot more in stress than men in general, actually. Yeah. Some men don't believe in that, but it's true. What do you think causes that? The cause is because then the woman, uh, at the end of the day, they, they get pregnant. You know, the pregnancy is, is in stress. And the woman does homework. You know, they do, they cook, they clean, they, they all physical, the, this kind of physical stress, they can make the woman tired. When they are tired, and then they, they affect, affect the mental health of, of the woman. So she is not really uh, able to do freely what she could do before without stress. So the, if you want them to have a healthy mental health, then we have to give support to each other in the family, with our children, mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? That can reduce, that can reduce the, 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 this health problem or mental health problem women in particular yeah. going through. Okay. Uh, how can one reduce these cases or if you have a relative who is mentally ill? What are some of the things that you need to do to ease the stress or the depression? That is a very good question. As, as, you, as you look here, there are three different categories. If 
if they have find out that that, that particular person has got a mental health problems, then they have to talk to the, to the people. Mm. That's why the psychology psychiatrists are there to take to you know to take the history and talking to them and eventually advise them what to do. And if there is more severe, more serious of what we, what we call it here, mental health illnesses, this is something they need the medical attention. There must be an expert to uh, treat them. We call them schizophrenia, and there are some people even that are in Kampama, for example, and then those kind of psychiatric, they are, they, have got the, they are suffering from mental health illnesses. But before mental health illnesses, we have mental health problems. And if I give you a statistic, what the last night I read about it, that is by the, by the WHO report, yes. the half a world population, all over the world population, they are suffering from some, some kind of, of mental health problems. And the, in America, they have got the highest number of the mental health problems. You know what I mean? And it doesn't matter. In the individual doesn't make any difference, whether it's a child, whether it's a male, whether it's a female, and, and whether it's poor, whether it's rich. We have to make sure that, that we know this, and have this knowledge that mental health problems, they can affect anybody at any age. And with that, we now come to the end of tonight's uh, program. Do join us next week for another edition. From the Women's Magazine team, we'll take this opportunity to applaud Gambian women for their hard work and commitment towards nation building. Have a wonderful Women's Month or International Women's Day. Bye-bye. Thank you.